Hello guys! Welcome to the first video tutorial for this uh, floral uh, pattern of the months. Uh, this is pattern from my Patreon monthly program, which I'm running on my Patreon page. Uh, you can find the link in my description. And uh, there are going to be two uh, versions. Let me show you on my iPad which uh, how it's gonna look like so this is the first one this is a colorful one and um, there is going to be the blue one and this is the blue one i'm going to be stitching both of versions and uh, but all the stitches which I will use, they are going to be the same. You are just uh, going to be just following different color maps. So how do you guys like this pattern? Let me know. I'm going to be uh, stitching a little bit with you today, guys. And let me turn on Instagram on different devices. So I'm going to be seeing your questions if you guys have some questions please ask me so basically this is um, um this is what i do every month with my patrons we are stitching a new pattern every month and i'm designing the pattern based on the wishes of my patrons we are voting which pattern we want to stitch this time and um, uh, almost all instructions are already available on Patreon, so you can join now and download the PDF and start stitching with me. I'm stitching um, this pattern on um, Batiste fabric. It's a little bit stretching, a little bit, and it's thin and, and delicate, so I added one more layer of fabric this is a cotton on the back and i'm going to be stitching on both of fabrics and i transferred my pattern using a white gel pen uh, this is not heating erasable i will <laughs> i'm trying to find it in my country but i know that there is heating erasable gel pens the white one and it's going to disappear uh, when you blow the air from your hair dryer or iron it so uh, and it will magically disappear <laughs> so i would recommend it uh, to use um, that pen and i also can leave the link to this pen where you can find it on amazon and my stories and I, my patrons also have the link to this pen on patreon and needles i'm going to be using needles from dmc uh, my favorite set of needles it's size uh, three to nine and basically i will be using uh, the medium one uh, for three strands or two and the maximum um, size for four and six uh, strands so um, needle size, it depends on which type of stitch you are going to be performing and uh, how many strands are you going to be using. Um, so basically for embroidery, you need needles with big eye and sharp points. So, so everything about needles. You're also gonna need some uh, sharp scissors like this it's useful when you want to cut out something you don't like and redo it then and embroidery threads uh, as i'm going to be running two uh, versions uh, so uh, there are going to be two embroideries and one colorful and one monochromic uh, version with uh, blue colors um, all the color co codes and color map is available on Patreon right now and I will be stitching with you one um, flower. Let me put my hoop into my 
Obstand. It's going to be fun and interesting project because you are going to be using uh, radiated threads. And there are lots of um, color transitions, so it's interesting to stitch. You can see how your thread is changing while you are stitching and how naturally it looks like uh, when you, you see the final result. So, um, but if you are scary to use uh, variated threads, you can uh, replace them with different uh, colors. Um, like three to four colors you can use to replace the variated threads. For example, how variated threads looks like. For example, this is a blue one. And this is the orange one. So basically the color is changing from the light yellow here to the bright yellow and then it goes to the orange and you will need to cut the thread and you will need also to sink a little bit when you are stitching with and uh, with variety threads and plan uh, where you where where you start and where you go and uh, where it's uh, going to be like finishing so this is how it looks like I really like those variated threads and many of my parents and kids they include variated threads and I like to play with them with different stitches and this is how it looks like so um those orange I'm gonna use to stitch uh, though in these uh, places like this is it's going to be a French knot and I'm gonna use them also in the middle of the flowers and here and here let me take a look into the chat to see maybe you have questions what did you use to write on black fabric with the pen? I have been looking for something like this. I'm going to place a link to my, into my stories where I uh, where you can buy white gel heating erasable pen, okay? So maybe more questions. Uh, will this pattern to be on PDF? Yes, this is a PDF pattern and you can find it on Patreon right now. Uh, besides this pattern, you will have access to all the rest content, educational content I have there. There are lots of video tutorials, all the previous video tutorials in Stitching Alongs. Uh, they are all available for my Patreons. And this pattern will be available as PDF and list it on my Etsy shop as well a little bit later. Um, so I will finish all the instructions first and then I will list it on my Etsy shop. So um, just be, be sure that you subscribe to my newsletter and you will be notified when this uh, PDF pattern will be uh, listed and you will also get special discount uh, which I'm sending for my newsletter subscribers. So just uh, subscribe to my newsletter. You can find the link in my profile. Okay, let's start stitching it. So I want to make a transition from uh, light yellow to the medium yellow and to the dark yellow here. So I I need to like, based on my experience, I approximately know how many threads I need. So this is how many threads I need for the first few French knots that it's changed to the medium orange and orange here, the dark ones. It's like, a, it's a short piece of thread. Um, you can measure it from your fingers to your um, I don't know how to call it in English, uh, so like uh, for this part of your body, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use three strands 
and I'm going to be separating it. So um, if you are a beginner, um, so basically embroidery threads, they comes with six strands in it and you need to take out the three strands, for example. Um, so I take it out here. I'm doing like this. And I'm let it to unwind, so it's not going to be twisted. So then I will put it together. Like this. What kind of fabric? This is um, Batiste fabric. It's cotton fabric, it's delicate one. So I'm using one layer, one more layer of cotton on the back. So I'm stitching through two fabrics like this. So it's, it works like a stabilizer and uh, the bat Batiste is a little bit transparent. So um, as a result, when I'm stitching through two fabric, I will not be seeing uh, the stitches on the from the back side when I jump it, for example, from here to here and from here to here, I will be jumping with my, with my strats. So, um, and I will not be seeing those strats on the front side because fabric is a little bit thin. So I'm using two layers right now. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the medium size of a needle. I'm licking my thread <laughs> to thread it, but you can uh, use a needle threader if you want. This is my way. This is my, how my grandma taught me, so. Nobody except of me is licking my thread, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start stitching. So I want to make a color transition from here to here. And if there are going to be some orange left, I'm gonna jump here to do some uh, part for this flower. So you need a little bit of planning when you are stitching with variated threads. So those are going to be French knots and I want to make them um, also some transition, but in the size. I want to make those few French knots in the beginning um, to make them a little, the little French knots. And then when I'm be moving here, the French knots, I'm, go I'm gonna make them bigger. So um, it depends how many times you are wrapping your needle. So for making small French knots, I'm wrapping my needle only one time and I'm going back to the fabric almost in the same place where I started. And I'm going through it, but I'm keeping my threads on using my left hand until it's really close to, to the finish. So this way you can make teeny French knots. I'm gonna make one more like this. See, I'm keeping my thread and I'm letting let it, it go <laughs> almost when I finish it. And this one here, I'm gonna make a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna wrap my needle twice like this. See, it's bigger already. So I'm gonna make one more French knot uh, with two rubbing, rubbing two times. It also very useful to use 
uh, hoop stand so you have both hands free for making French knots. So um, those two French knots are going to be bigger than this one. So I'm wrapping my needle three times like this. But be careful, you can make a loop accidentally. So make sure that your loops are accurately made. One minute, please. I'm gonna turn on the my laptop uh, because it's getting the power is getting low, but I'm still gonna see your comments if you have. Uh, I will save this live stream and I will upload it to my YouTube channel. Okay, this is one more French knot with three times wrapping. See, I tried those variated threads and it appears that transition is not going so fast. So most of the French knots are with the same color, only this one is changing the color, but it's okay. You can make uh, your thread a little bit uh, shorter next time so you could just uh, you just uh, learning <laughs> and that's it okay I'm gonna make a medium uh, the center of the flower here for this flower this flower will consist from uh, French knots and I will make the center here because the color is um, like bright yellow this is just what I need right here and then I will probably jump here to make the center for this flower see why I'm using two layer of fabric I don't see my thread on the back when I was uh, jumping and this is really great And now I'm moving to this flower. I'm using, uh, I'm wrapping my needle two times for all the French knots that I did here. When you are doing French knots, you don't want to wrap it um, more than three times because then if you, if there's going to be more loops, they, it's going to be like a, It's not going to be French knot already, <laughs> it's going to be something else. So, there are people from Mexico. Hi there. Many people uh, don't like to make French knots because they probably didn't learn how to make them properly see if you keep the needle really close uh, if you keep the thread um, so your French knot will be perfect just don't forget to keep it uh, where have you got the pattern I draw it by myself on my iPad I'm an embroidery artist and I create different embroidery designs by myself. Actually, this embroidery pattern is inspired by a uh, Petra Kivka painting. This is our, our national Ukrainian painting um, and it's really, really beautiful. Uh, 
I'm gonna post I'm I'm gonna make a post on Instagram. I didn't post anything yet about this pattern and I will show you examples of this kind of drawing. It's it's uh, amazing and many of the drawing actually they are made on the black background and the colors uh, really stands out. Tucson, Arizona, United States. Hello. <laughs> I love to stitch French knots. Brazil, Mexico, Argentina. Yeah, many people from Brazil actually. Kazakhstan. Привет. Uh, yeah, I will say it live. Please teach other flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna teach other flowers as well. You will find all the tutorials on my Patreon. I'm teaching, uh, actually, I'm teaching um, embroidery on Patreon. There are lots of educational articles and video tutorials. So this is a great place to start if you don't know where to start. Taiwan, Germany, oh my god. I guess I need to finish this thread. Okay, I will take it from the, my hoop stand and I will show you how to finish my thread. I started it actually, uh, I didn't say, I started it from, uh, some, from the knot this time, but I know a lot of ways how to start the needle, your thread from uh, without any knots uh, but this is um, this is actually pattern for beginners and if you are beginners you just uh, feel free to start your thread without any knots okay I'm finishing my thread usually on the back side and I like to make the loop like this I make a teeny stitch and I make a loop and I go through this loop this way and make it tight and that's it your thread is fixed and also if I have some stitches around I hide in my thread under the stitches but currently I don't have them so I will just cut it uh, like it is but a um, little bit later when I will have some stitches on the back I will show you how I do it as well Hi, my patrons are there. Okay, I will start one more thread. And this time I need to finish uh, the center of this flower. So I will start this side of my variety thread, which begins from the orange part. Saudi Arabia, Здравствуйте. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning, everyone. People from Russia, hello. Я разговариваю по-русски, если что, можете задавать мне вопросы в директ. Yes, I'm also so excited to start this pattern because I was doing a um, complicated patterns, uh, many patterns, right? So probably three or four complicated parents and I feel a little bit tired <laughs> actually because if I do complicated patterns uh, all the instructions are complicated and there are a lot of lot of hours of videos which I need to do so it's a little bit overwhelming and I finally did some simple and cute pattern like this and I can just relax and stitch with you guys. This is simple. So this is how I start my thread. Just a knot. And I will continue stitching here with orange side of my thread. 
school wait oh my god hola sorry i don't speak spanish <laughs> I speak only three languages. It's Ukrainian, Russian, and English. So I, what I did here, I did one French knot in the center and I do all the rest French knots around it. And I'm wrapping two times. It's three strands. Indonesia oh my god there are people from all around the world in Canada how do you draw design uh, trace it um, uh, this yeah I forgot to mention um, uh, this fabric was thin enough and I was able to see my design through it using light pad. You can use light pad, you can make a light pad from your iPad or you can use... Um, you can also use... Oh... Uh, the screen from your laptop, for example, as a light source. So... You can transfer pattern this way but if you don't see your lines from the pattern through the black or dark fabric and maybe fabric is too heavy and you can't see through it so you can use a water erasable um, stabilizer also you can use a magic paper from dmc there are different kinds of paper like this it's also water soluble and it's sticky so you can print your pattern on your printer if it's um, magic paper and if it's just a regular stabilizer, water erasable one, you can just draw the design on it. You can easily see through it because it's uh, transparent and you can um, lay it on top of your fabric, stitch it, entire design, and then you will wash it and it will disappear and all you have as a result it's your fabric and stitches on it so this is another way how you can uh, transfer a pattern to your fabric for black fabrics and dark one uh yeah i'm i'm using white erasable pen yeah nicaragua okay let's continue um, now I'm gonna stitch those uh, teeny flowers and I'm gonna be using two colors. It's going to be Lazy Daisy Stitch. Uh, this one which we did recently, it was French Knots. And now we are going to be different, uh, doing different stitch. It's going to be Lazy Daisy. And I also... I will probably use all six strands. Let me... Oh, I can use this one. So sometimes you need to use all six strands because you want... Oops! You want to make your stitches um, to to make big lazy daisies uh, if the loop is uh, big like this one and this one uh, so better probably use lazy daisy with six strands and for this you need uh, the bigger needle so I'm going to find the bigger needle and here is this If you can't thread your needle, the eye of the needle is too small, so you just probably probably try to find the bigger one. Don't stress yourself. 
And this time I'm also will be using the knot for starting my thread. That's okay. If you're a beginner, so that's okay. But if you're if you have a lot of experience in stitching, so I would recommend you to learn um, another way to start your thread without French knots. Oh, sorry, without knots. Okay, uh, this is going to be lazy daisy stitch. I started from the place and I go through this place also. I go back here where I started and I keep my thread with my left hand because I need a loop like this. And I go up here. I go up here through this loop. And carefully I'm making my thread a little bit tight, but not too much. Don't, don't tight it too much because you need uh -huh, like this way. And I go inside, outside the loop. So I will make a teeny stitch here to fix this loop on the place. This is a petal and lazy daisy stitch. So I will continue until I will make all the petals. Sorry for the cat hair, they're just everywhere. See? also simple stitch which all beginners oops looks like I have a knot on the back side here we go and I make a teeny stitch outside the loop to fix this on the place here Did you ever try lazy daisies? It's also really fun when you are stitching with variated threads. But this time I'm losing I'm using just a regular color. But I will make a color variation. I will add one more stitch inside the lazy daisy later. So it's gonna be looking a little bit more interesting. Oops, I don't know. I don't want the knot here. Yeah, make sure that you don't pull too tight because you just will make two parallel stitches really close to each other, but you need a loop like this. You just need a loop and it should look like a petal, so don't make it tight here. Be careful here, Oops. this way. And you also can keep your loop with your finger when you are finishing it, so it will stay on the place. Here I'm using all six, six uh, strands. If you pull it too tight, for example, I made a mistake, I pull it too tight, see, the loop is like this. 
So you can use your needle, you can use your needle to fix it. Just go through this loop and like release it a little bit until you like it. And here we go. You fix it. I'm using gamma threads. This is just uh, local threads I can find here in Ukraine. Uh, this is the same um, quality as DMC. So you can use any embroidery threads you can find in your country. It's not critical. You can use uh, DMC is available all worldwide. Sorry. And um, there are also a few um, uh, brands which are available worldwide. It's um, Anchor, Anchor um, Cosmo, and Madeira, different kind of threads. Uh, they all have uh, classic cotton embroidery threads that you can use. They're all really really nice and soft the fabric is batiste and the one layer cotton fabric on the back I'm stitching through two fabrics right now. So I'm using cotton as a stabilizer, <laughs> but you can use uh, just a regular stabilizer. Um, I decided to use cotton because uh, it's black and it makes the color, black color deeper. So I'm using just black cotton. Uh, see, sometimes you have such like things like this, which you don't like. So you can uh, go through the loop. Just be careful, don't uh, split the stitch. And you can do this several times until you will like how your thread is laying you. So now it looks perfect. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Okay, I'm almost done. So I'm gonna add one more color here. You will see now. I want to add one more shade of blue. So it's gonna look like a deep deep shade inside the loop. So I have a little place here inside the loops and I want to add one more color. And I will be using three strands for this. Let me thread my needle.
Hi from Chile, Argentina. Thank you guys for joining. Okay, so I'm going inside the loop right here. And I make just a straight stitch uh, inside this loop to fill this place like this. Just be careful, don't split any stitches right here when you go up from the back. Just, um, just go up really close and carefully. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like it. It gives one more dimension of color and it looks more natural, right? Oops, I have a knot here. <laughs> Sometimes when your strat is a little bit twisted, you are getting some um, unwanted knots. And also, if your strat is too long, you can also get some knots. It looks really cool, you know. <laughs> mm, yeah, I did it with my uh, pattern, another pattern. It was uh, cactuses and succulents, if you know, if you probably saw it. So I did it for the cactus flowers. It was really nice. Yeah, here we go. I like it. It looks like a live flower. Okay, guys, I will I will stitch uh, this curve here and the leaves. So we probably have some time. Okay, I switch it to the green variated threads and this is how it looks like. It starts from the light green, then it switches to the deeper green and uh, darker here. And I want to make my uh, edges, so the end of the, uh, the, of the curl to be light and I wanted to change the color here to deep one in here from the start here. So I will start my mid, my strat with a light color. And I will probably cut a little bit because it's going to be a long story. So I don't need this piece. Probably I will start from the from here. And you can do it uh, using uh, any stitch you are comfortable. Can you push it to the right? Um, yeah. It can be back stitch. It can be whipped back stitch if you want. It, it can be also a stem stitch. So if you already know those stitches, it's going to be easy. I will turn it this way so you can see it. Yeah. So I'm doing 
the back stitch here I do a little bit short stitches because uh, it's uh, the curve here is like that <sighs> the cat hair and for this part you can uh, start from back stitch and then switch to the stamp stitch any stitch you want I will show you just the back stitch so it's simple stitch as you can see sorry Sorry guys, I, I was talking about the pan several times in this video, so you just uh, uh, please rewatch it on YouTube and uh, you will know all about the materials I use. I was talking about it from the very start of the video, okay guys? Yes, the pen. It was just a regular white gel pen, but there are uh, what hidden erasable pens which exist, and you can find them on Amazon. I will leave the link in the video description on YouTube where I will upload the video, and you will also have a link on uh, Instagram stories. So see just uh, that's the back stitch and I'm using six strands right now for back stitch uh, if you are going to be stitching with a uh, stamp stitch you probably better use uh, three strands then so three strands for stamp stitch and uh, six strands for back stitch You can use pencil for drawing, but I'm not sure if you will see it on the back. Oh, if you will use some colorful pencil, right? So you probably will see um, the lines, uh, but uh, they are permanent as well as this one. So um, just remember if you will be doing some mistakes, um, it's going to stay on the fabric permanently uh, but I find useful to use um, just um, you can wash it gel pens usually washing away very easy so that's why I'm using uh, just a gel pen it, it's gonna wash away so it's uh, water erasable let's call it water water erasable okay <laughs> and uh, if you will use pencil i'm not sure if it's going to be washed away bye metal knee thank you so much for joining I usually use a heating erasable pen, it's a gel pen, and it disappears on heating, uh, but it works for uh, white or light fabrics. Uh, in this case, I'm stitching on the black one, so I just use it a regular white gel pen, but... Uh, there is also heating erasable pens which exist for black fabrics and you can try them I just can't find them on in my country See you 
this is actually simple. Simple, simple, simple. Hey, let's do the sleeve. I have just a little bit of thread, but um, I guess I can show you uh, the fishbone stitch. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, so uh, this is going to be fishbone stitch. You need to make one stitch in the center here and I'm going from this side and I make a stitch like that here and I will make one more stitch like that from this side and I will continue and I will be moving down and you will see how cool is this stitch looks like. It creates a really nice uh, texture for leaves. I like to use it for leaves. See? I will take one more strap to continue and finish this uh, leaf. Wait a minute. Okay, I will continue. Yeah, fishbone stitch looks uh, really interesting, especially if you are stitching with variated threads and the color is changing from the light to dark. It's really, really cool effect. There are also multicolor threads that you can use, and yeah, it's gonna give a funny, funny, nice variation. Yeah, one. Yeah, one back stitch to start and continue fishbone. I don't do it often because I most of cases I'm stitching, I'm doing thread painting stuff like that. But is this is a fun uh, beginner stitch to try if you didn't try it yet, see how it looks like. It's really nice. Here we go. How do you like it? I'm gonna do a few back stitches as I have a darker green color here to finish this line. So basically this is how it's gonna look like. Uh, I will probably do those teeny flowers. Ok, 
Okay, so which color is going to be? It's going to be this color. And I'm going to use three strands. You can also use four strands, actually, it's going to be. And uh, the, the more strands you use, the more, the bigger French knots it's going to be as a result. So it's totally up to you. You can also make a French knot with six strands, but I'm usually not wrapping the needle uh, two times uh, when I'm using six strands. I think one time is enough. Yeah, this is Ukrainian art. It's, yeah, it's based on Ukrainian folk um, drawing. It's a unique drawing which comes from Ukraine. And um, uh, give me a second, I will show you how it looks like because it's really, really bright and colorful. Um, One minute. I have a huge uh, board on Pinterest, so um, I will show it from Pinterest. Let me find it. It's really cool, like this. So this is a Petra Kivka painting, Ukrainian um, art. People usually draw on uh, houses. Houses usually have uh, white walls. So it basically started from the painting on the walls and everywhere. See the picture here. This is Ukrainian uh, house in the village. And then they started to paint inside the house and like this. In one more house like this, they, they are really cute. And yeah, they are painting on some dishes uh, like this. It really uh, looks uh, great on the black. So this is like a stuff like that. On um, everything. <laughs> it's actually on everything. See how vibrant it looks like. The colors are bright and there is always transition from the dark and the light shade. So this is what I'm trying to do in my embroidery. Uh, the color transition is important and it gives you a three-dimensional look. Which is really cool. Okay, let's continue. I switch it to the, oops, to the light blue color and I'm gonna continue making uh, those uh, teeny flowers. So I'm using three strands. And it's going to be French knots again. So the motif is repeated in different places. So basically um, I'm gonna use um, French knots lazy daisies back stitches and they're also going to be a little bit of uh, uh, fishbone stitch like here and those big flowers like this flower and this flower they're going to be um, 
a little bit of um, long and short shading just a little bit and uh, basically all the rest is going to be just a satin stitch so this is actually a simple pattern which is going to be uh, you um, suitable for how can you turn ukrainian art into embroidery you just draw <laughs> you just watch a lot of uh, drawing like that you're inspired and uh, then you take the pen and your ipad and you draw by yourself your own design and then you just uh, imagine how it could look like uh, embroidery and then you just embroider it <laughs> that's it this is how it works for me uh, everything that i see i can transform to embroidery i can like already see how it's gonna look like and which kind of stitch i'm gonna use to um, make it so it comes probably naturally and it also based on my experience i'm from ukraine And uh, I just realized that I have a lot of patterns which looks uh, similar, you know, I have several patterns like that. Uh, I will show you. Oops, it's probably the knot on the back side. So it's like already in my blood <laughs> i don't know how to explain it so when i draw let me show you my designs which look similar similar I started from back stitch because I just wanted to show you the simple stitch and see this is actually looks like a Patrick Yvka painting already but when I was drawing it I didn't know about it so I just was drawing what uh, my, uh, my brain <laughs> generates for me so I was drawing right on the fabric in this case uh, let me show you one more design. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's here. See? They are also simple. And yeah, it looks in the same style, you know. So this is what I'm stitching right now. This is uh, really like uh, in my style. And now I understand why, because I'm from Ukraine. I saw it many times, probably. That's why probably I'm stitching it. Okay, few more stitches and those flowers are finished here and here you go easy peasy okay guys I gotta go and um, 
if you want to download this pattern, I will upload um, on Etsy soon. So if you want to get it, just subscribe to my newsletter. You can find the link in my profile and you will get a notification when this pattern is listed on Etsy. So you can start stitch it too. And I will upload this video tutorial on my YouTube channel. You can find it on YouTube as Embroidery Art by Nut. And please subscribe to my channel so you can rewatch it. And I already told you all about the fabrics and materials that I use here. Also, you can right now, if you want to stitch it right now with me, you can subscribe to my uh, Patreon page. Uh, you will find the link in my profile and stories. So you will get access, instant access to this pattern and many more patterns are also available there and a lot of uh, educational articles for beginners like you if you want to stitch uh, with me and um, there are a lot of educational uh, video tutorials on Patreon actually and uh, you can access uh, after you join the Patreon so um, I will be glad to see you there and yeah, uh, next uh, video tutorial will be exclusively for my Patreon. So I'm going to be stitching this big flower and this big flower and all the rest uh, leaves, which you can see the, here, uh, there are also berries like this. So we are going to be stitching in my next video tutorials, which I'm going to be posting on Patreon exclusively for my patrons. Um, so see you there. Thank you so much for joining. I would uh, I really uh, was happy to see you and hear you and uh, see you see you there. See you on Patreon and on YouTube. Bye guys.